shower is completed. That's not okay. Oh, I just saw the gnat again. That's not okay, in my opinion. Oh! <laughs> I've ordered takeout. Yes, I have. I'm using a literal butter knife right now. <laughs> Trying my first bite of food. It dribbled on me a little bit. One day I will be a plus size influencer who has died. That is crazy. This video is so raw, you guys. Fuck. Damn, what a real bitch is that? Hello, YouTube. I'm back, and so is our girl. Amber has finally posted after like six days. It took her fucking forever. And like, what the fuck? It's only 13 minutes. Or 10 minutes, like really. Let's be real. If we cut out all the BS. And then a like significant portion of it is just like an old clip. So it's not even real content. She couldn't be bothered to film for the whole length. Maybe 8 minutes is current vlog time. It's wild that she thinks that this is acceptable. And that people want to watch this. It's... Terrible. Let's get started. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to a Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I know I have not been Hey Amber, it's been six days since we've last seen you. And we didn't like what we saw. Been uploading lately. My bad. I'll do better. It's just like No, she won't. That's a fucking lie. In the past, especially when I've done like daily vlogging or especially, daily I would just say and film any little thing, but I just like don't do that now. But y'all have been asking for more content, so I need to figure out like how am I gonna make more content for y'all because y'all want it, so I want to give it to you guys. And Ew, and she really doesn't, but a lot of the big reaction channels usually react to her social media, so like they've been looking at her Instagram stories and her Q and A's and whatever, and. I watch those videos, obviously. I usually don't watch... Well, actually, I haven't watched any of the videos before I've done the reactions to them. I purposefully don't. But they do watch them after to gain their uh, insights. That's why I still watch them. She's going to clickbait about uh, her exes, even though they told her... All, all of them pretty much told her to stop talking about them. And she keeps doing it because she doesn't respect them. And she doesn't respect her audience either. It's just kind of crazy, like, that she just continues to do this. Let me get back to this video. Uh, hold on. Let me save this screenshot. I want to save this for the title screen. Or the preview, rather. Let's go back 10 seconds and film any little thing but i just like don't do that now but y'all have been asking for more content so i need to figure out like how am i gonna make more content for y'all because y'all want it so i want to give it to you guys anyways i don't I'm really want to do my hair and do my makeup okay hi i am ready and i just filmed a couple tiktoks i'm trying to do like daily q a's on instagram as well just to like correspond more with my audience and plus you guys always have so many questions and i don't mind answering them by the way i took my nails off because one fell off <laughs> <laughs> she took her nails off again i wonder if she fucking ripped them off again off and that is the first time that's happened since i got them started getting them done months ago but it just like came off and my brain her demon talents fell off oops maybe you shouldn't trot so heavily i said i'm not fixing i have nine nails and one missing so fixing. i just took them all off i'm not sure when i'm getting them done again but i think i have an idea of what i'm gonna do actually i'm debating between two colors i can't decide went to trader joe's so i'm gonna do a haul when i get home i told you guys her mom wouldn't take her last week to trader joe's because she like it's probably out of the way from where she lives and she didn't want to go that way she wanted to go to walmart because she was already going there and so because amber made a comment about trader joe's um and so she was already thinking about it and planning what she was going to get home okay guys so i just got home i went to trader joe's so we definitely have some hauling to do so this is like a grocery haul moment it's actually the first time that i have been in trader joe's here in oklahoma and i loved it it was in like the cutest little is it I feel like she went there before. Spot. Genuinely, I was giving such good vibes. So let's start with the Maybe first not. bag. I just got some eggs because I like to have eggs in the morning. And before anyone says anything, yes, this is processed food. Every single time I do a Trader Joe's. Eggs are not processed food. But yes, Trader Joe's is all prepackaged processed food unless it's whole ingredients. And then you still have to check. 
there's certain products like cheese and yogurt uh, that are going to be processed and milk, but like most of the food products at Trader Joe's are prepackaged. You have to avoid those because that's not good for you. It's not any healthier than like going and getting it at like Tesco or Publix or Safeway. It's all the same. You know, tall people always say that, and I'm just like, yeah. Um, I don't go there often, but when I do, it's like I, I stock up on like the things that I really like from there. It doesn't even matter. I'm counting calories, losing weight, and that's all that matters. So I got these snacky clusters. It's that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Oh, that's all that matters. Sea salt potato chips, corn chip dippers, mini pretzel nuggets, mixed in milk chocolate. So Ew, I do like um pretzels and chocolate with peanut butter. Um. But that's the only kind of pretzels I like, aside from like soft pretzels with like cheese, but not beer cheese, because I don't like the taste of beer cheese, even though I like beer. <laughs> um, but so, let's get back to her. I decided to try that. I got some of these sour cream and onion flavored rings, lunch one rice snacks. It's all snacks and candy. I got some olives. This is stuffed olives. It's garlic. And olives. All of what, Amber? jalapeno i needed some soy sauce so i hope i like the soy sauce because they didn't have like the trader joe's soy sauce is really good my favorite brand of soy sauce which is totally fine and then i really wanted like a pasta sauce which they didn't mm. have what i normally have because trader joe's doesn't have stuff like that. if i go to trader joe's the only pasta sauce i get if i and that's if i'm getting a jarred sauce because usually i just get like crushed tomatoes and then i add olive oil and some seasonings and cook it down and that's my sauce but what Amber does is just pour this and heat it up and doesn't even add seasonings. <laughs> She's just so basic. Um, this is, well, if I go to Trader Joe's and I were to get a jar of sauce, I would get the um, either the Pomodoro or the Arrabbiata. I love the Arrabbiata, which is a spicy kind of uh, sauce, and it's much better than that probably like that there's a pasta sauce that i have been having but i decided i'm gonna try something different this is a spicy pasta sauce so excited to try it that all right on to the second bag i got some of their mashed potatoes which i love i got two what the fuck why not just get potatoes and like you can literally like if you get smaller potatoes you can roast them in the oven and then just smash them and then make smashed potatoes amber and it's so good what the hell is wrong with you? You're spending money on frozen mashed potatoes. That's nasty. Things of vegetable panning curry with jasmine rice. I I'm sure that tastes good, but it still has preservatives. Also love these. I love literally everything that I got, honestly. Um, I've never had this, which I'm sure I will love it. Cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. I know that I'm pronouncing that. Fiocchetti? In pink sauce. Hmm. Interesting. Wrong, so come for me, come for me. I already know what's happening. I'm not um, coming for you. Brussels sprouts. I got two things of the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. I hate that she eats so much sausage and processed meat. It's so terrible for her. Like, all of those things are full of cancer-causing materials, Amber. And it's a known fact. If any of those preservatives from the sausages, and even if it says it's like a fresh sausage, unless it's made at the butcher counter, it's not really fresh. It's really not. And you can get fresh sausages at your butcher's counter. If they're already making them, you can ask them to make a specific amount for you. Like, what's wrong with you? I got a bag of the chicken, gyoza, popsicles. Love. I'm. Gyoza. Mm -hmm. Chef's kiss. Got a thing of some chana masala. I've never had this. I will say the chana masala is really good. I had it when I was a vegan. Um. It's really good. So is the... They have something else. If I can... I'll put it in the video, if I remember. I have had it from, like, uh, Indian restaurants, but I've never tried it from there, so I'm excited to try it. I got some peppered salami. Salami can be triggering for me, but I'm hoping I have it under control, and if I don't, I know to just never buy these again. So, yeah. And then I also got some ground turkey. All right, so the final bag here... I got some of these rice cracker medleys. It's a mix of baked rice crackers flavored with soy sauce, salt, and vinegar, and chili. She got so many snacks and so little food. Like, 
that's what I'm talking about. At Trader Joe's, they don't really have a lot of fresh. I mean, they do have. They have fresh meat. They have fresh uh, vegetables. But it's not the center and focus of the store. And that's the problem, especially for Amber, because she can't discern the difference of which she should buy. With spicy green peas. I personally love stuff like this. So Many hours later. What is happening? Wait, what? What did I miss? I was looking up the thing. I found it. They're called uh, alu hot kati rolls. So they were so good. They had chickpeas and tamarind chutney. Oof. They were so good. Stuffed in like a flaky, buttery crust. It's like a hot pocket, but Indian. Oh, so good. And vegetarian. Oh, I was. So I would cheat sometimes and eat vegetarian food if it, it, while I was a vegan. But that was actually like more towards the end of when I was uh, becoming a vegetarian again. But it's discontinued, so I can't recommend that you get it. Sorry. Put everything away, so I'm going to go do that. Okay, guys, so real quickly, I'm going to do a monthly update on how much weight I lost in March. Because I did it in January, where I lost 7 pounds. I did it in February, where I lost 9.2 pounds. And now March, how much did I lose? So I actually weighed in today at 489.6. So that means in the month of March, I lost exactly 10 pounds, which I'm very, very proud of. And I noticed I'm losing more and more weight each month. Oh, my God. She's really going to claim some success after not really doing anything. She is something else. Especially because she just only announced what her new thing was. So it'd be cool if in April I lose 10.2 or more than that. So I could do like a cute little challenge. Let's hope that I even remember that I said that. But I'm just very proud of myself. Like I do. She is always proud of herself. This bitch. I'm the damn thing. I'm not stressing like too hard about it. And I think with the lack of like stressing about it, because normally like if I'm counting calories, I want to be like perfect and I want to eat the right things. Realistically, like it's not going to happen. Like you too hard about it. And I think with the lack of like stressing about it, because normally like if I'm counting calories, I want to be like perfect. I think that's going to be the screenshot for the uh, preview. Do, 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 do. Let me take that, that shot. <laughs> Good teamwork, Amber. We did it. Woohoo. And I want to eat the right yeah. things. Realistically, like, it's not going to happen. Like, you guys saw my haul today. As long as I stay below my calories right now, that is all. We did see your haul of candy and snacks. And then frozen meals. And turkey. All that I'm focused on. And I know eventually down the road, I'm going to have to start eating healthier. And eggs. And switching things up that way. But eggs. right now, what I'm doing is working for me. And I'm just really happy about it. Okay, guys. So I did take off my shirt. <laughs> Don't mind that. So I opened these. I was about to try them. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do it for the vlog. Because what the heck is this for real, for real? Mochi rice nuggets. I don't know. They look like that. They're supposed to be... It sounds like ripoff of Asian market snacks. Which I love. Because we have one very close to where I live. Crispy, crunchy, and spicy. But let's try it. Oh, I just looked um, in the camera. And a lot of people have been asking me lately how long it took me to actually get this in the mail. And I think they're asking me because they're trying to catch Chantel in a lie, Beauty Beauty, because she also received hers. So to answer that question, I'll just post uh, when I opened it. So here. What? What is she talking about? Nobody doubts that she got a play button. What is she talking about? And plus, like, this is her only award that she's ever won in her life. And that's why she has to display it like that. She doesn't have any diplomas. She doesn't have any certificates. She doesn't have anything else. She just has that plaque. Here it is. Hey guys. So a lot of people have been asking me about this. And I finally got it. I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm really shocked. I never imagined that I would ever reach this point. But I did. So I want to show you guys what I just got. Oh my gosh. Okay, Ew. from YouTube. Woohoo! It says, you've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel. It is true. Very few people will ever get that many views and subscribers and all that shit. And she didn't deserve it, after all. After all she did to clickbait and mukbang and sympathy bomb. All that. At least there's people... Like Mr. Snowflake, who have documented her. Has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. 
you guys, <laughs> I'm so entertaining. We know that you don't do this for rewards. You do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you found an audience who cares. Okay, so here we go. Oh my God. I literally am shook it. I remember the day I hit it. I'll never hit such a high again. <laughs> like, I am proud of her that she ever did that. Like, that's awesome. I, I think that is really awesome. For real, for real. But, like, what did you do with that? Nothing. Really. And so stingy. Especially towards Beck. Like, which is mind-boggling to everybody who can see it. That is literally written on here. But yeah, a lot of people were like, are you going to get the um, silver thingy majigger? And I was just like, probably not because you have to like request it. And I just, I didn't think I deserved it. But then I was like. I don't believe that for a second. I think she believed it all the time. He probably said, Becky, at the time. Or I think this was, yeah, this looks like when she was with uh, the gay care. So, yeah. She was begging. Wait a minute. 100,000 subscribers is a lot. So I requested it and it came within like a week. So, wow. And I just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, I know that my YouTube journey has been quite insane, as we all know. But I still have so many people who support me and message me and say kind things. See how satisfied she is? She's like, I won. I won. But she didn't win. Not after all. Because she, like... She's really enjoying being the way she is, except for the fact that she has health problems. That's the that's the only thing. Because she fears the saggy skin. She's already said that multiple times. And that's a real thing that she'll have to deal with if she ever were to lose a lot of weight. She would need to lose almost... Well, let's say she'd need to lose probably like 300 pounds right now to be a healthy weight or a healthy-ish weight. And that's a lot of skin that's left over from 300 pounds. She couldn't do it. To me and like are there for me and I appreciate that. And I literally would not still be doing YouTube videos if it wasn't for you guys. So I just want to say thank you. So yeah, that was years ago. I remember getting this and I was so happy. Like it was just emotional. I just thank you guys so much. And now I have like 220K. Like what are you guys doing? You guys are amazing. Okay, well, let's try these though. What was with the jump there? What did she say that we did? years ago i remember getting this and i was so happy like it was just emotional i just thank you guys so much and now i have like 220k hmm. like what are you guys doing you guys are amazing okay well, let's try these though i'm a little nervous they smell like seasoning like a spicy seasoning they look like chicken nuggets they look kind of like freeze-dried chicken nuggets it's kind of funny so so far that's correct mm. i don't think i like it i do like the texture they do look like freeze-dried uh, mm -hmm. chicken nuggets. I love crunchy. So I feel like for some people, this would be spicy. There's a spice to it, but it just doesn't taste that great. So that was kind of a flop. They did have ones that weren't spicy. So I feel like next time I go to Trader Joe's, I'm going to try those. You guys, I have had an absolute influx of people contacting me about my exes. One has a new girlfriend. One is married. She's so silly. She really, the, like, look at her expression. People are assuming I am single, which I get it. People are also... Which I get it because I've said that I was single before when just like a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about it. Like I was only talking to Valentine. We're not serious, you guys. You mean I'm jealous and bitter? Literally, no. I want both of them to be happy. No, you don't. You don't like Beck. And you've tr said that. And then you think that Destiny was working with Beck and you really thought that she was low for that. Like, despicable. Remember, Amber? Remember when you were on the phone and you, quote unquote, didn't know that you were on stream even though you were on the stream watching? I want them to move on from me and the relationships that we've had. And they definitely have. And I've also done the same thing. I am keeping things from you guys. Um, I do have a love life, though. I very much... Cool beans. Cool beans. Me too. Guess what, Amber? I can actually go out because I go to work every day, but like I literally have a date on Sunday. So, yay. First date in a while.
too. I have talked about Valentine a little bit. I just want to do things a little bit differently this time. You know, not just like bombard you guys right off the bat. Like, hi, you know, I have a new love interest. Like I have talked about her and it was before my ex got a girlfriend. It was before my ex got married because I'm over there on Instagram. Like, yeah, I do have, you know, a little love life going. And yes, I am actively in love right now. And the reason why I'm not talking about that in my video. Is actively in love right now. So Amber is like a. My mate is a cannibal. She has eaten many husbands already. An active galactic nucleus. Currently, she's eating, gobbling, 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 gobbling stars, which is the love. She's absorbing all that energy. And then she's going to let out a big burst that's going to push out. And then it's going to push out that person out of her life once she's satisfied. I'm like bombarding you guys with that because I do want to do things differently because so much in the past, I've just like, she was turning like look at her sweater it's all blurry um i was making sure that it was set to 1080 because it's so fucking blurry for no Lord reason vomited, all my relationship stuff and like with Celine, i very much learned how to be more like private and i'm not saying that this relationship is gonna stay private it's just very much i want to just like give you guys a little bit at a time because i'm still figuring out my stuff like this is still new for me just know that i'm very happy and i'm also happy for my exes i'm not some like jealous bitter she keeps saying jealous bitter so I think that maybe she is a little bitter. I don't know that she's necessarily jealous, but I think she is bitter. That, like, they've moved on seemingly so securely, and she is still insecure. She might be in love, but that person is not security for her. There's no way for her to compare those two things until that person is, like, living with her or really in her life. Like, she can claim that they're in her life, and maybe that's the friend sh whose house she was at, supposedly. This is just so weird. And her hair looks so bushy. Crazy ex. Like, that's literally not who I am. I know a lot of people like to assume that they know me and who I am. <laughs> a lot of people like to assume they know me, who I am. I guess we'll have multiple um, screenshots for the preview because this is fantastic amber you're really giving me all the shots right now this is great i am and how i feel and how i react to things but like y'all aren't right and i don't mean that like in a negative way but yeah like we're all thriving in our own way and i think that like y'all i've moved on i just i want you guys to do the same i mean i think she's romantically moved on from all of them i mean destiny's married She's moved on from you, so you can't even consider that. And if you do, you're a fucking home wrecker. And I don't know if she wants that on her YouTube record. And then Beck is in the new relationship with uh, her girlfriend, who is pretty. Like, she's very pretty. And they seem to be very happy. So I'm really happy for them. Amber seems the same as usual. She's still overeating alone in her apartment. She's not eating healthy food like that. Like there's nothing that she's doing that's good necessarily, except for eating fewer calories. But the food she's eating is not good. There's so much salt, and so much we are everything. We're our own separate individuals living our own separate lives. And I just really, truly think it's time. Just let me be me. And I no longer want to be like Destiny's ex or Becky's ex. Like I'm just not wanting that. Like I am at such a different. It's Beck. Get it right. Space in my life, different era. Just who I am as a person is just so different. I feel like I've lived multiple lifetimes, especially here on YouTube. Like, go look. I just, I have transformed constantly and I just feel like. Yes, you are currently in the old crone stage. We've seen you transform, Amber. Like, I'm at my most like independent, happy, true self, and I'm enjoying learning more about myself. Like there are things that I definitely need to improve on though. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I really need to see a therapist for my borderline personality disorder. Like I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I you don't see a psychiatrist or a therapist for one condition, Amber. You see them for your entire mental state. <laughs> Just because you're diagnosed with that one thing doesn't mean that's the thing you need to necessarily be seen for. There might be a lot more wrong with you than you know, especially since it's a complicated uh, diagnosis. So I don't know what's wrong with her. I thought I was better in that regard. Like, it's not something that, like, you can just, like, heal from 
instantly know it takes years and years and years of like therapy but I thought that I saw improvement in myself and like a situation happened recently where I'm just like whoa girly pop needs to go to therapy and that's something I can definitely like admit I <laughs> oh my god Amber you're giving me all the shots stop it I'm gonna have to save this for later because you can only have three got him out loud is like I need help and I personally have never She's gone giving... to therapy for borderline personality disorder I recently went to therapy I like how she was like I'm not the crazy ex proceeds to have crazy ex face right there right in your face like Oh my god. <laughs> and I had like over 22 visits with the same psychologist who I loved. She helped me tremendously, but I wasn't seeing her for borderline personality disorder like as a whole. And now I need to find a therapist who specializes in that. No, you don't. You need to see Oh my god. You just need to stick with one doctor and stop doctor shopping for different personality traits because they're not personality traits, Amber. They're not things you collect. What the fuck is wrong with you? And I am a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I'm totally just rambling right now. But yeah, I'm, you guys, I have my own life over here. Not sharing everything. One day, I will. But like, I just want to take things slow and just do things different. But just know that I am happy. And I'm also happy for my exes. Like, I am capable of feeling that way. As much as some people don't believe it. I like the jump cut. She went on to say something that she shouldn't have said. <laughs> Before she said what she said. Ah, uh, Amber. And you're so smiley. Because you know you're not not smart at all. But I do want to end this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I did not enjoy this. And this is going to be the next little Delulu. This little lace screenshot right here. That's going to be little Delulu. Next time. Woohoo. If you like this video, like and subscribe.